Hey everybody, I'm Jacob. Welcome to your sixth web development tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at XML attributes. Attributes are pieces of information you can add to a tag to describe it more. They are composed of two parts, the name and the value. Since we're in XML, we can make up both of these. Let's take a look at XML attributes in some code. Here, I have a simple file containing the first few verses of the book of Genesis in the Bible. Why don't we convert this into XML and see how attributes can help us along the way. First, let's come up with a root element, because remember, all XML files need one. Let's just make our root element book. However, if we leave it at this, how will the computer know that this book is Genesis? This is where attributes come into play. Let's add an attribute called name and assign it the value Genesis. This will tell the computer that our XML file contains a book named Genesis. Attributes are placed in the opening tag right after the tag's name. Then we type the name of our attribute an equal sign, and then, inside quotes, the value of our attribute. We can use double or single quotes for our attributes as long as we are consistent. I prefer double quotes. Since we're in chapter 1 of Genesis, we can further add a chapter element surrounding all of our data once again. Let's add a number attribute to our chapter element. Number equals 1. Now, on to the verses. I'm going to split up each verse individually with verse tags, numbering each verse as I go. There, we're finished. Now let's save all of our hard work. To save your file as XML, simply use the file extension .xml. It's that simple. And we're done. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and now that we have a good handle on attributes, I'll see you next time, where we'll start learning HTML.